In Sage Time Slips, meetings are entries that include one or more attendees. They'll appear on each attendee's calendar. Holidays, events are entries that can appear on all Timekeeper's calendars. To-do items can appear on the owner's to-do list and can optionally appear on the owner's calendar. Within general settings, you can change the terminology for any of these items to suit your business. You can use any of the new commands on the calendar menu or the new commands on the calendar button to create a new calendar entry. When creating entries in this way, Sage Time Slips will use today's date and the next time slot. You can also right click on any date and choose a command from the new menu. When creating entries in this way, Sage Time Slips will use the date and time you clicked on. You can also double click on a cell to create a meeting for that time and date. There are new security rights that can restrict many of these actions. When creating meetings or holidays, use the fields at the top of the entry to indicate a subject, category, start date and time, and end date and time. All day entries have set start and end times. Private entries can only be seen by their owners. You can indicate if you will create a time slip from the entry. You can enter a location and you can set the entry as recurring. When creating meetings, you can also use the fields at the bottom of the entry to set the owner, set your attending status, set the reminder time, add other timekeepers to the meeting, add notes, or set slip creation defaults. To edit an entry, you can double click on it to view and change the details. If you simply want to move the entry to another date and time, you can click on the entry and drag it to another cell on the calendar or to another date on the mini calendar.